again. My name is Gabe Zona. This is the 8th of March 2019. I'm going to attach two links. One link's a Vanity Fair article, and the other one talks about the border and how drugs are being flown over the border with drones. Now, if you watch some of my previous video, I said what Trump should do is forget this idiotic wall and put our troops along the border, shoulder to shoulder. Based on this other article that I just read, with the drones, they should give them shotguns and they can practice shooting clay pigeons. Article on Vanity Fair, written by Eric Lutz, L-U-T-Z, published on the 7th of March, 2019. John Kelly unloads working for Trump was awful and his wall is stupid. Donald Trump has made hardline immigration policy a centerpiece of his political agenda, staking his legacy in part on a brutal border wall fight with Congress. He emerged from that fight largely worse off, bested by House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, who called the wall immoral, expensive, and unwise, a characterization supported by economists, and apparently she's not the only one who thinks so. In her interview on stage at Duke University Wednesday, former White House Chief of Staff John Kelly, who left the administration in January, tore into his former boss's immigration platform, calling the wall, quote, waste of money, end of quote, and breaking with the president's characterization of immigrants from Mexico and Central America as violent and dangerous to Americans. They're overwhelmingly not criminals, Kelly said. They're people coming up here for economic purposes. I don't blame him for that. We don't need a wall from sea to signing sea, the retired general added. Kelly not only bashed Trump's signature issue, he also seemed to take a dig at Trump himself, calling his year and a half as chief of staff the least enjoyable job he's ever had, and telling the crowd that he saw his role as a civic duty, one he would have likely carried out if Hillary Clinton, Trump's mortal enemy, had won the 206 election and asked them to fill it instead. Hillary is not Trump's mortal enemy. Remember what he said? They're good people. They suffered enough. Remember that? Mortal enemy, my ass. Throughout his White House tenure, Kelly was sometimes regarded as the one of the adults in the room, a kind of frustrated dad to Trump's screaming toddler. Of course, that characterization has always been flawed. Kelly at times enabled some of Trump's worst tendencies, including in 2017 when he launched a vicious false attack on Representative Frederica Wilson, the congresswoman who criticized the president's comments to the widow of soldier David Johnson. He also dismissed and pampered over horrifying abuse allegations against former White House Chief of Staff, Chief Staff Secretary Rob Porter, and naturally, his mandate to contain Trump did not go quite as planned. Still, Kelly represented a faction of the administration that maintained at least some independence from Trump, however small. That cadre is almost gone, forced out, and replaced by what seems to be ever more psychopathic Trump devotees. That Kelly is publicly breaking with the president, after the fact may bolster his image as a one-time moderating influence on Trump albeit one that, like so many others, ultimately proved unsuccessful. Folks, the wall is nothing more than everything else that's been going on, distract, divert, and deceive. It's a complete joke. Forget the wall, Donald. Put our military on the border, Donald. Stop threatening other countries like North Korea, Donald. Get your son-in-law's ass back out of Saudi Arabia, Donald. Stop selling those kind of weapons to this mad prince who butchered Jamal Kosagi, Donald. Smell the coffee, Donald. You will not be re-elected. You probably won't survive as president for the next two years. You will be removed from office. Why? Because you don't know what the hell you're doing. That's why. You don't want to hear it. Don't listen.